Wait, how was your meeting? Oh, maddening as usual. Mark, I'm so worried about you. Okay. What was this doing in the garbage? I, uh, I dropped it. It was an accident. I don't believe you. Oh, you're right. It was bothering me. What do you mean it was bothering you? Just that. Mark, I talked to that therapist today, Dr. Blake. He's got some time next week. I could go with you. We don't need a psychiatrist around here. We need a goddamn plumber. something for the fever. Don't cover her up. I saw Nikki. Mommy's gonna get you some medicine. You're gonna be fine. She's still here. It's just a bad dream, sweetheart. That's all. No, Daddy, she did go to heaven. She's still here. It was just a dream. Calm Please. down, Caitlin. Calm down. Leave her alone. Come with me. She was getting out of control. She's out of control. Look at her. She's afraid of you. Don't you ever learn anything? What are you talking about? Nikki. I'm talking about Nikki. Do you know what her last words were? Why doesn't Daddy love me? Of course I love Nikki. I love Caitlin. How could you know that? Would you act like this? I think we need some time apart. I was looking for the, the Whitehall area. Well, you're there. <laughs> uh, is there any chance this house around here? No, I don't know that house. Uh -uh. I don't know it. It's Miss Florence's place. Oh, I doubt it. No, oh, it, it is. Look at the gazebo. You looking for that place? Yeah. Could you give me some directions? It's it's just a mile or so as the crow flies, but it's tricky to find. If you just keep on the road you came in on, and you make the first layoff, after that it's like a third or fourth, or maybe it's a fifth dirt road down. No, no, that's not right. Yes, it is. Well, you tell him the way then. 
There's an awful lot of back roads through there. I ought to show you. You could. I'm out of here. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm here because of your house, actually. It's very interesting. And you see, I'm an architect. It bears a striking... Uh... Resemblance. Uh, yes. Two. Uh, drawing. By one of your colleagues. No, by one of my daughters. Oh. How lovely. I wish I could see it. Is she with you? She's dead. How did you know that? Why, you just told me. There's a small step here. Oh, brother, Mr. Samuels, I know my home inside and out. There's a chair for you. Thank you. How old was she? Nikki was 11. And the other one? Caitlin is seven. Seven and a half. I know how children are. She must miss her sister very much. We all do. And I'm sure she misses all of you. Do you think that's possible? Possible. When I lost my sight, I was just a child. What did I know what was possible without seeing? I thought my life had ended. When, in fact, 
It had begun. It is past three o'clock, Miss Flowers. Oh, so soon? Yes, ma'am. Oh, please excuse me, Mr. Samuel. My keeper calls. Madden, this is Mr. Samuels. He's an architect and a father. How do you do, sir? Miss Latimer. Call me Florence, dear. Everyone calls me that. Even when they think I'm a bit strange. I wonder if we could talk again. Of course. Michelle, tomorrow. Tea is at four. You're staying over, aren't you? At the bed and breakfast. How did I mention that? No. But your shoes proclaimed it. Rather clearly. <laughs> I look forward to our next talk. Thank you. Madden? Sir. Who's that? There. The girl in the window. Girl, sir. If you do. So where are you? I'm at a little hotel in the country. Do you know anybody out there? No, I'm just just looking around. For what? Look, I just thought I'd check in. See if Caitlin was okay. She's fine. I'm sorry if I scared her. You know, kids, they get over things so quickly. Not like us. So when are you coming back? In a day or two. That's okay. We'll manage. I'll see you then. Drive carefully. I will. Bye. Bye. for the thoughts in that pretty little head. Are you and Daddy going to get divorced, dude? Of course.
course not. Caitlin, whatever gave you that idea? We were yelling at each other, and then Daddy went away. My friend at school said that her mommy and Daddy were yelling at each other, and then her Daddy went away, and then they got divorced. Oh, sweetie. A lot of people who love each other get mad once in a while. They don't yell at one another. You know, even you and... Nikki? Yeah, even you and Nikki did. But when a mommy and daddy do that, it doesn't always mean they're going to get... It doesn't always mean they won't stay married. But sometimes it does. Yeah, sometimes. But don't you worry. I still love your daddy, and he still loves me. We're still a family, aren't we? That's unusual. <laughs> we'll find some surprises in there. But Dad, we put this thing together out of maybe three or four old bikes. Oh, I see what he did here. That's pretty clever. Your dad sure knew his way around an engine. <laughs> That's for damn sure. He was going to try to get me a new one, you know. But... So this bike is pretty special to you, Gonna keep her humming too. I owe that much to my dad. Excuse me. It's all right. It's only natural you miss him. Thought it'd be over by now. I know what you mean. I lost my daughter. She died. I don't think I'll ever get over it. So that's why you're going to see Miss Florence. I'm sorry. I don't understand. What do you mean? No, I, I didn't mean to. I'm really sorry. Listen, if you want to do me a favor, tell me about Miss Florence. Well, she's pretty much a legend around here. She's been blind since she was a kid. Fell down a flight of stairs. They say she was in a coma for like a year, maybe even two. When she woke up, she had the second sight. Right away, she started telling people things that was going to happen. Fires, drownings, weddings. It must have been terrifying, a little five-year-old, prophesying like that, right on the money. Who are those kids out there? I mean, does she run a daycare? Who would leave their children with her? Kids? Most people don't see those kids. What do you mean? I don't understand. It's only when you got business with them that you see them. Business? Samuels? Oh, please call me Mark. Yes, I slept reasonably well. <laughs> I never thought of sleep and reason having very much in common. Compared to uh, how I've been sleeping, I mean. Um. Thank you, ma'am. My favorite time has always been those moments between sleep and wakefulness. That magic time of drifting. 
in and out, visions and sounds. It's really our third existence, no, fourth, including death. You think death is an existence? Mm -hmm. Very much so. Do you have children here, Miss Lawrence? I mean, uh, on uh, do children come here on school trips or scout outings or anything? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. We have a very private existence. I saw a couple of children as I drove in today, and yesterday I saw a young girl in the window upstairs. Is she a cousin or a neighbor? You saw children? Yes, uh, very briefly, but yes. Oh, so soon. You are very aware. Oh, I'm so pleased for you. What's so special about seeing children in the woods? They're very special children. You see, I never married. I never bore any children. But when this house became mine, I, um, I wanted to so much. <laughs> I pretended. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I felt quite silly at times, but I kept it up, putting toys in the rooms, palm balloons, <laughs> making a swing, and then... <laughs> I came... <laughs> I felt this was a refuge, a haven. But at first, I, I could only feel the slight warmth, the, the tiny tingle. And then, I could hear them very softly. some rest now. Mm, you get some rest, too. It, it's very hard for you since Nikki left. There's a tension in your voice, perhaps fear. No, no, I just need to get back to work. Goodbye. Well, I'm afraid you're leaving with more questions in your head than when you came. Next time, don't hold them back. Life is too short for holding back.
Hello? Hello? Who's there? What's going on? This is a game? Come on, kids. What's going on? Who are you? What do you want? Mr. Samuels? You're quite welcome to stay the night, sir. I'll call for a toll as soon as the garage opens. Who are those children, Madden? Sir? Come on, Madden. What's going on around here? Who's that girl in the woods? I don't know of any girl in the woods, sir. You do, goddammit. I want answers. Are you... Quite all right, sir. Shall I call the doctor? I want to talk to Florence. She cannot be disturbed. I'll inform her as soon as she arises. Will you do that? Yes, sir. Okay. 